Hey guys, today we're going to be making Taco Bell's grilled cheese burritos at home, but so much better. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so here I already have all of my ingredients. As always, they will be listed in the description box. So with that being said, let's begin cooking. Okay, we're going to begin by making our Spanish rice. To our pan, we're going to cover the bottom with oil. Set it over medium high heat and allow it to heat up. Once the oil is nice and hot, we're going to add one cup and a half of long grain white rice. And I also like to add a chile serrano. And now we're just going to fry it for about five minutes or until our rice is nice and golden. Once our rice is nice and golden, we're going to add four tablespoons of tomato paste. Mix it in with the rice. Okay, so once we mix it, we're going to add three cups of water. We're going to season with two teaspoons of chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of tomato bouillon, onion powder, garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and salt. Now just mix it and allow it to come to a full simmer. Once our rice comes to a full simmer, taste it for salt and see if you need to adjust it. For me, this is perfect, so now we're just going to cover it, reduce the heat to the lowest setting, and allow it to cook for 20 minutes. Okay, after 20 minutes, our rice should be done. As you can see, all of the water should have evaporated. So now we're just going to set it to the side so we can cook our meat. Now to make our taco meat, on my pan over medium high heat, I'm going to be adding two pounds of ground beef. Along with that, I'm going to be adding half an onion, two teaspoons of tomato paste, and I'm using my own taco blend spices. I will leave them all in the description box or you can also use your own. Now we're just going to break it down and allow our meat to cook for about seven minutes. After seven minutes, our meat should be fully cooked. So here you can taste it for salt and see if you need to adjust it. Now we're just going to remove all of the grease from the meat, but just leave two tablespoons of it. To that, I'm going to be sprinkling two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. This, that's just going to give us a taco meat texture. So mix it in with the meat. Now we're going to add half a cup of water and just allow it to cook for a couple more minutes. After two minutes, our meat is done, so we're just going to set it to a side so we can make our chipotle sauce. To the blender cup, add half a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of mayo, two to three chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, along with one tablespoon of pickle jalapeno juice, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, chipotle powder, and salt. Okay, now blend it into smooth. Okay, and just like that, we have our chipotle sauce, so now we can get ready to make our burritos. All right guys, and now for the fun part, making our burritos. So here I already have my burrito sized flour tortilla. I'm going to begin by adding some cheese. I'm going to be adding some flaming hot Fritos. But of course you can always use just the tortilla strips. I'm going to add the rice, the meat, some nacho cheese, chipotle sauce, and sour cream. Going to grab the ends and roll it. Okay, so once we have our burrito, we're going to take it to the grill. Okay, so here I already have my comal nice and hot. Going to be adding some queso Oaxaca and medium cheddar cheese. Okay, so that should be enough cheese. We're going to grab our burrito, steam down, place it on top, and just allow the cheese to melt. Okay, once the cheese melts, grab one side, place it on top of the burrito, and just roll it. We're just going to allow that side to get nice and crisp. Just like that, we have a burrito, so now we can get ready to serve. Just like that. Enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously fast, easy, and super delicious. Nothing beats homemade, and this right here is no exception. So hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Seriously, the best. So cheesy, so delicious. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how I make super easy and delicious grilled cheese burritos. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.